Welcome, my friends, to Splatter Day. Is everything coming to you right now? A little bit of story there, them running to the house, shenanigans. I suppose I should be filling in the background. of this sordid little tale is two parapsychology students mm. uh, by the name of Rick and Lisa and by the way said university probably has a familiar name to those who you don't do it but use that one remember you use the number of keys remember to insert coins Oh. Five. Five. Not the number pad, but a five key. <laughs> this is gonna be my Halloween related thing. Little known horror-related games. Which means one day, I'm probably gonna do Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I am using codes, because this game is balls hard. lead to good things, don't you know? Obviously left with a little choice Rick is taken by the Terramask. <laughs> and thus, Rick's quest to find his girl begins. And yes, he does kind of look like Jason. Well, there was obvious similarities back then. And no platforming, so I won't die. Yes, even down to the fact that the university is called Mesopotamic. And obviously, with the professor being named Dr. West, that was uh, given. <laughs> I gotta run away before the gas gets me. But you wish it was gas. <laughs> what are you saying? It's liquid evil? Mud man! Obviously, the game is a little 
little light on plot, but once again, like games of the era, the Japanese version had a lot more than the American version. But, um, yeah. James Rowe could not beat the first boss of this game. Not using codes, so I would stand no chance whatsoever. So they can get rid of it because they're not exactly fans of American game makers. Well, anyone who knows the gaming industry's problems these days can t uh, tell you about that. So a game that had so much love and hard work put into it just went to shit because the company decided we don't want to support this and in fact we'll actually backpedal to try to deny this game's existence. Yeah, that's Baby monster! Well, shit. I imagine I was supposed to dodge that. Well, the remake did manage to get one thing that people have asked for for years. A collection of the three original games. I would have loved if they had put the NES game in there, but uh, that never had it in there anyway, so. But oh my god, the voice cast was brilliant in the remake. guy does have chainsaw hands. But the remake, of course, never got a PC release. Yeah. Like, yeah, we don't want to support this game with a bunch of love pine to it, but here, Hey, buy $500 worth of swimsuits for dead or alive. <laughs> I mean, she 
seriously, they could have paid for a hundred versions of the remake with the, the absurd amounts of money they've made off of Dead or Alive 5. But of course, even with that, they still completely half-assed the PC port. Yep. They wonder why the Japanese game industry is dying. Creepy baby! Blades of pain and death and hate! How the hell are you supposed to jump fast to those blades? Easy. It's all to end timing. Goddamn bat! Why are you pressing it all the way to the end? Because I'm trying to get bored. Do that because you don't know what's coming. Oh my god, this sequence in the remake. Oof. Pain in the ass. You remember, don't you? Oh yeah. Nice. Basically, this sequence here, you fight mirror. Remake on the other hand saw fit to turn it into its own boss fight. Good God, was it tough? Because the enemy had all your powers. Believe me, that game made you feel tough. Wednesdays will be unchanged because, well, Castlevania fits perfectly into a Halloween theme. You can't find the hard work. It's Because like all things in Japan, they censor crosses. At least in home versions of things. How the hell are you supposed to beat this thing if it just keeps jumping out of your freaking head? Bullshit boss fight. Jeez, oh, Pete's. How is anybody supposed to win against that in the freaking arcade version where you have to pay a coin every time you die?
Man, horror games really love their church levels. climbing down the stairs, you just jump. I would never win.
cut now, the wound. Good you. Ooh, maybe I should play some Darkstalkers games one day. See? Because <laughs> creepy baby leeches? Hey Shanghai, have you ever played the remake? <laughs> and of course, like all good tragic tales in gaming, the remake left on a cliffhanger. Yep. I think the 80s TV shows also follow that rule. Well, I came to terms with it, but at least we got that awesome remake out of it, considering... Uh, it's oh, it's game. a very, very good game, Shanghai. It has a lot of love for what they're doing, trust me. You would do very well to track down a copy, and Lord knows it would be hard because it's cheap as hell now. Jules. fucking chance. Because I am the worst gamer now, ever. Now, people have realized what this creature is supposed to be. Most of us have come to the conclusion it's what's left of Dr. West. Well, I thought he was going to reanimate us. Uh, He's getting rather hands-on, isn't he? Yes, Shanghai. Go out, find the remake. As soon as you can. It's totally worth it. He's rather handsy, isn't he? And the story is over. Our hero has won. Never again will the terror mask inflict its evil upon the world. And thus, our hero, having lost the love of his life, barely escapes the horror. But is this the end of our story? Oh, 
Oh, come on, you guys know better than that. stream. 10. 